salvete omnes salvete amici. Nomen mihi es decimus Aurelius Angenarius. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good day, good evening, good night from wherever you are watching us from in the world. Uh, this is uh, the uh, Nova Roman channel, the Roman channel on Twitch. We are here for episode six of the Republic of Rome board game broadcast. Um, it's going to be a pretty exciting evening, I think, this evening. Uh, we've just uh, about to move on with our Senate session from session five. Uh, we've just elected some consoles from the previous session, uh, and the Senate this evening is going to be considering uh, potentially the Second Punic War. So this will be a very, very fascinating uh, night, I think. This is a, a, a climatical uh, piece of combat in ancient Roman history, and no doubt will be for our uh, factions this evening. So let's not delay. Uh, we'll take a brief moment to transition across to the uh, virtual tabletop environment uh, hosted on Tabletop Simulator, and we'll be back very shortly. Please don't go away. All right, we are back now in the uh, virtual tabletop environment. Here we are looking at the Senate. We can see all of our sat factions. I can see the camera feeds uh, of all of our senators below. Let's do our normal audio check. Uh, senators, give us a wave and a salwete. 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 All right, audio is looking good for me, and, and uh, hopefully chat will let us know if there's any other major issues um, that they experience, audio or visual. Uh, right, uh, we are in the Senate uh, phase, so we're going to hand over to our con two console <coughs> elects uh, for them to discuss and announce who's who, uh, and uh, then we'll let them run their Senate session as per normal and instructions. So over to the consoles. I am pleased to welcome your next Rome Consul, Senator Flaminius of the Aquila faction. Thank you Yay. so much. Yay! I look forward to a new chapter beginning and to the hopefully many happy memories that we'll be making. Um, the first thing is I just have a very quick question of is there any way of changing my hand to no longer be a hand but to allow me to move and roll in and out? Uh, so if you select the hand icon from the far left-hand side at the top, yep. you, your mouse wheel should be able to zoom you in and out. Okay, I just don't seem to figure out how to turn it off. Uh, mm. When you say turn it off, how do you mean? That my mouse wheel basically is not working at all, that I only seem to have the grab option, but I will... Oh, okay. Uh, it, there are shortcut keys for zooming in and out. So if you just look just okay. to your immediate left, you'll see a, uh, a black area keys. there. Uh, you can see all the shortcut keys for yourself just to your left um, in the shortcut guide for the, the tabletop, and that should yeah. give you some guidance you, as well. You, um, you can change it in your settings as well. I have mine set to, to home and end keys. It's very Happy. easy. Um, you can, you can yeah. set it in your options, so I can tell you if you'd like. Where and while we're, all, yeah. while we're all thinking about that, can I make sure so, that the new consoles yeah. have awarded themselves the influence they require from their new post, please? That's all done. So just All done. click escape, configuration, yep. uh, and then click the controls tab. And then, if you just, it, yeah. and then if you just scroll down a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, it should say zoom in and zoom out. It's, uh, ah, okay. Thank you. And Thank you. just have the secondary keys set to whatever you want. I've just had mine as like home and end keys or, you know one and two or something on your oh, keyboard. Oh, okay, thank you. That way, yeah, because I always have mouse yeah, issues too. Yeah, so. appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you very Hopefully much. Hopefully that works for you. All good. Okay, so, oh my God, thank God. Um, What I wanted to do, where are we? Where are we up to? So based on our... our uh, Running a cheat sheet on the right hand side, uh, considerations yep. of Potiphar's Maximus if necessary, if we don't have one, and then of course, no. uh, consideration of we Dictator if you'd like. Okay, we have one, and I didn't think we would be electing a Dictator um, in this current situation. Okay, so election of Censor must have prior console marker. Okay, that is well, correct. Go and have a look. Okay, so we're going down and in. So who have we got? We have hard to do without the mouse. Okay, we have one nominee here in yellow. Well, yep, two. And we have one there and one there. 
Good use of the ineligibility uh, markers there. That's good. Yep. Here we go. Considerations of the sensor for those that are just tuning in. We're about to uh, hear from the Rome console who's going to propose uh, somebody for the sensor position. Okay, so. And feel free to use the nominee uh, color tokens too there, Marika Wedia, to highlight your nominees as well. Yeah, I think I am generally just, my main issue is just my mouse issue, which I'm, my apologies. Okay. So we have the first round of voting. I'm going to put forward. Um, first round. Are you planning to have more? <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel like there's been a few times where um, <laughs> I've put forward people and we have kind of struggled with certain things. So I'm going to put forward Junius from the Blue Faction. And I'm going to call for votes from, first of all, Numerius Aurelius. Uh, so that is, just one second, though I can check my, I think that's more, that's right. Um, that's just going to be 15, nay. Okay. I'm going to call from Marcus Decimus. I'm going to place my 18 votes against the proposal. Yep. Next, Apius Rufius. Next. Uh, you're on mute there, Appius Rufius. Sorry, seven nay. Uh, yay. Yay. <laughs> yay. Next from Tiberius Cornelius. Sixteen against. Okay, and I think at this point it doesn't matter what I vote. Oh no, we've still got Quintus Octavius. You know, I was fine not voting, but uh, yeah. uh, no, no, apologies. I, I... I five for <laughs> abstaining, since uh, obviously you know I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. I will place eleven in favour, but the motion does not pass. I'm looking forward to the point in time when I can finally say yay twen twenty four to match to match the current mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next we are going to put forward um Fabius Maximus from Quintus Octavius's faction. Mm. Quintus, I call for your vote. Uh, I shall put my five votes against. Uh, Blue, you want to take your votes back? I don't think you've been called for yet. Um, I will call for Numerous you now. Aurelius. Numerius Aurelius, how go. would you like to vote? <laughs> yeah. uh, next is Marcus Decimus. Um, I'll place my 18 votes against. Uh, next we have Appius Rufius. Seven against, an eight. And Tiberius. 16 against. Okay, um, at this point I will abstain. I feel that we, not that I, yep. Okay. Okay, so down here we also have Amelius. Amelius is from the yellow faction. Um, I would look from the lunar faction. And so I call for Apius Rufius for your votes. Seven votes against. No, nay. Okay. Um, next I'll call on Tiberius. Cornelius. 16 against. Next, Quintus Octavius. Uh, I'll put my five against. Okay. And um, we have Numerius Aurelius. Uh, 15 in favour. 
Uh, Marcus Decimus. I'll place my 18 votes against the proposal. Okay, and so I just wanted to confirm that, um, Quintus, you were voting nay as well? That is correct. Okay, I will abstain. There we go. Um, who do we have left? <laughs> yeah, we're in the process um, of elimination almost. Yes, <coughs> Got a few um, still, I suppose. Letting you know my chat is not working. Sure. All it says is system console to autocomplete commands, hit tab. Oh, nice. I'm not sure um, <laughs> what's happening there. Mm. Right, here we go. I got it. It was I'm back. it was hidden for some reason. Okay. What are the yeah, commands again to do a, like a whisper type message? It's, um, uh, just slash in the color and then what? your text. And, so then, and then space, yeah. So it'd be slash, slash forward green slash color space, space, then your message. Okay, thank you. Some discussions perhaps happening in the background between factions as we uh, continue to see uh, various uh, proposals knocked back. Now, we haven't had a unanimous defeat yet, have we? No. Just be careful of that, Marika Wedia, as you'll continue to make proposals. Uh, um, yeah, just keep an eye on that. Is it unanimous except your own faction? Correct, yes. Pardon? I think she was away from the mic, uh, from the... Speaker, Sorry, so I'm just yelling at the children. Oh, okay. Because I have no um, alternative <laughs> devices or anything to type or do anything. Thank you. Not right now, please. You can stick it to Dad. Thank you so much. <clears throat> oh, my God. I was, uh, a bit more awkward. No, you're right. So, we're, yeah, we're just saying that um, mm -hmm. yeah, we're just, I don't think we've had one yet, but uh, just be careful that... Uh, you don't have any unanimous defeats in the sense that you're the only one that maybe votes for a proposal. Um, okay. Uh, otherwise, you've got a decision to make going forwards. But uh, yeah, just keep half an eye on that. I don't think we've got it yet because at least one person has, has always voted in favour of the proposal so far. So abstaining. Do, does that count towards the unanimous? No, or? no, no, no. The closest we've gotten is was everyone voted um, nay except for Quintus, where you you abstained the one chance we had. And what happens if everybody votes nay? If everyone votes nay, then you have to, a decision to make as um, presiding magistrate. You either step down as presiding mm -hmm. magistrate and hand over to the next highest ranking available official, mm -hmm. or you take minus one influence, influence to maintain the presiding magistracy. So was there a situation where no one voted in favour? So if everybody Besides. but the presiding magistrate votes against a proposal, then the presiding mm -hmm. magistrate either has to stand down or take a minus one influence hit. But abstain is not... Uh, no, I don't, I don't count as... Yeah, everyone has to vote against it. In, in, uh, yeah, abstains don't yeah, count towards uh, that, okay. in, uh, in my opinion. Yeah. Eighteen. So next in line, we have Papirius from the Aquila faction. I'm going to call on Tiberius Cornelius. Six eight against. Next, I'm going to call upon Appius Rufius. My uh, sorry, my sound was uh, off. I had to reset something. And what is the proposal again? Sorry. What? Okay, there as it is. Okay. Uh, I like these eight. nominee tokens. It's good. Quintus from the Manus faction. Uh, I'll put my five against. Next, uh, Numerius Aurelius. Uh, that is, oh, sorry, 15 in favour. 
And next is Marcus Decimus. I'll place my 18 votes against the proposal. Okay. Um, Quintus, no. Okay, I will put 11 in favour, but the motion still does not pass. Is there only two other options or three? Uh, there's three options as far as I can see. Oh no no there's there's there's, um, four. there's four options. Um, is there four? So there's two in your faction, Marcus. Yes. And there's at least one in Tiberius. Where is the other one? And... In your own faction. Oh okay. It's the top one. Yeah, sorry, it was out on the edge of the screen. Yep. Okay. So where are we up to? Um now we are going to put four. Where are we? Fulvius from Corona Faction. Tiberius, could I hear your votes, please? Yeah, I'll vote in favour. Next, we have Appius Rufius. Uh, I vote against. Next, Seven, Quintus Octavius. Uh, five against. Okay, next we have Numerius Aurelius. That is 15 votes in favour. Next, we have Marcus Decimus. I'll place my 18 votes against the proposal. Okay, um, so last vote is 11. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Do you have a result? Who's good at maths? Right. Three, so have... four, and three against, I see. It's... Must be a tie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? It's a tie, guys. No. Uh, 42 <laughs> votes in favour, 30 against. So the vote passes. Wow. So who actually won it in the end there? Fulvius Ooh. of uh, the Corona faction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like nobody wanted it, but... Uh... Oh, good. Your uh, mark is already there anyway. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, has it gone back to you? Were you, <laughs> you yes, it has, yeah. So it's gone back to the same individual. That's funny. <laughs> the, the only office that can repeat itself. Uh, so we have the same sensor. There you go. Amazing. Okay. Uh, if everybody wants, everybody wants to reduce, uh, sorry, re remove their ineligibility tokens back to uh, back to the, um, the pile. Yeah. And I'm going to hand over to the sensor. Very good. Thank you, Rome Console. Uh, Census faction is only focused on winning wars, so there'll be no prosecutions. Oh, Thank you very lightning. much. So if we would like to, um, people can remove their corruption markers. <laughs> yes, that's right. Make sure the final mo notion of the censor is to have everybody remove their corruption. Returned governors, you can... Uh, uh, I suspect you keep your return governor tokens for the moment because uh, that's an indicator that uh, you can uh, reject or not consent to going back out as a governor again should you show choose. But in other words, you are no longer corrupt uh, if you were a governor that took corruption. So, uh, But I think you are holding a separate corruption mark for that anyway for the, whoever that was applicable to. So uh, mm -hmm. outside of that, everyone can remove their corruptions. I'm not seeing any. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just make Quintus Octavius. Yeah, You've got one corruption mark to get rid of there. The at the moment. Um, and there's one. I'll remove that one for Numerus Aurelius. Good. All right. All the Where corruptions go? are gone. And yes, people are just readjusting their uh, concessions behind cards. That's good. Perfect. Cool. And now, Thanks. so um, do we have any governors that are out? Uh, we've got some governorships to elect, though. No, we've got. Okay, so we've got how many governorships? One, two, three. Wow. Okay. So how many governorships do we have? Where are we? Oh, here we go. Three, three, three in total. Three. It is three. Uh, what just happened to one? We just lost one. Yeah, that just... Sorry, that somebody... might me trying to click with my mouse wheel. Okay. Oh, you, so... you picked it up in your hand. Yeah, it's in your... Oh, yeah. it's in your oh, hand. Okay. Um, apologies. <laughs> how did I get rid of it? It's okay. I dragged it out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just... I don't know how I did it, but I dragged it out of your hand. 
Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, that's right. All, all players can, oddly enough, move cards from other people's hands. So, just, just like real life. Restrain yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, just like real life. Thanks for this card. It's interesting. When you come next week, I'll have about 12 hat cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, wow. How exciting. We have three different places. So, um, we have going to, we've got... Greece, Sicilia, we've got Illyricum and Sardinia. Okay, so we'll go with Sicilia first. And who shall we send today? Um, we're going to send Sulpicius from the Solace faction. Okay, I'm going to first time call on Marcus for your votes. I'll place my 18 votes in favour. Okay, next I'm going to hear from Numerius Aurelius. Uh, that is 15 votes uh, in favour. No, sorry, wrong, <laughs> one. wrong side. <laughs> Reflexive okay. motion. Yeah. <laughs> Mus <laughs> muscle reflex. Um, Quintus Octavius. Uh, Few seconds. All right, uh, I will put my five votes in favor. Next, we have Apius Rufius. Uh, seven days. Sorry, I was muted. I guess. Okay, and next, Tiberius. Sixteen against. Okay, and well. I think I also do have the option to abstain either way. Um, the motion has passed. All right. So we have Sulpicius so uh, immediately off for governorship of um, uh, Sicilia. So I'll just move that out of the way and we'll pick up our little province card and take it for a war. Um, not, a, not a bad province to take on, I, I'd argue. Um, I'll just go find uh, the good. He's got away from Rome. Make sure you adjust your vote tally now. I'll go get the uh, Sulpicius card from over here. Let's have a look. Uh, I still haven't put the search function on this yet, which is rather annoying. <laughs> uh, there he is. Uh, Sulpicius 15 off to Sicilia. There we go. And um, grab one of these. Purple markers just to make it really obvious which faction that belongs to. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so next we're going to look over here at um, Sardinia. Yeah, developed. It's the person who can only maybe cope with, you know, adopting a teenager and not having their own baby. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, can anybody can be go? Everybody can go. Obviously, in a governorship, but people who will return governors have the option to say no, they don't want to go. That's that's correct. And of course, major officers can't be elected as a governor either. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to put forward Emilius. For Sardinia. From and which faction is Amelius in? The Lunar faction. Lunar faction. Rufius, uh, yes, I could I hear your votes, please? Seven A. Okay. Um, Quintus Octavius. Uh, five A. Um, Numerius Aurelius. Uh, Fifteen A. Yeah. Um, am I hearing somebody Decimus. typing, am I? I can hear some clicking in the background on somebody's mic. I think it stopped. That was me. Yeah, I think it might be me in my charge cable. Um, oh. yeah, Marcus Decimus. I'll place 16 votes in favour. Okay. Um, sorry, I'll try and fix the cable. Now, sure. Tiberius, could I hear your votes, please? 16 in favour. Okay, um, beautiful. I will abstain and the motion will pass. All right, another successful election. 
Oh, uh, this time, Amelius. There we go. Pick up that nominee token. Move that away. Uh, we'll grab Sardinia et Corsica. Bring that over here. And let's go find... What number is Amelius, by the way? ID number? Uh, 19, I believe it was. 19. Let's have a look. I'm just throwing cards everywhere now. That's rather disappointing. I was going to say, yes, I don't something. think the ruffling is my microphone. I just muted it and I can still hear it. So Yeah, okay. Somebody's got a, a mic issue by the sounds of it. That's like, actually, it might be a, a poor echo, potentially. Can anyone else hear it or is it just my ears? Yeah, I can hear it. I can definitely hear it. Um, I can't be from you, Michael Ellie. What's that, Quintus Octavius? Oh, you can see the screen identifier pop up. How do we identify it? So every time someone talks, there'll be a green dot that pops up. Mm -hmm. And that's when a, the sound is also made. You can also see that green dot. Yeah, I think it's marked up. I believe it is as well. Yeah, I might actually just leave and... Sure, just do a quick restart. Time. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Take your time. And we'll reflect on the uh, the latest proposals that have gone through for uh, for those watching on. That have passed on the first attempt. Yeah, I think I think it was her uh, her microphone there. So uh, while we wait for the Rome Consul to come back, we can see we've elected two of the three governorships that we need to uh, address for this Senate phase. So we've had uh, Sulpicius um, uh, from the Purple Faction there taking on Sicilia, starting his term over there, and Emilius uh, from the Lunar Yellow Faction uh, under Appius Rufius taking on Sardinia et Corsica. Um, in the developed uh, province, so that's quite uh, quite nice. And some of the uh, uh, provinces already have some fleets and uh, stuff there. And then, of course, the final one, which is our newest one, Illyricum, uh, which will be the next province that we will consider once the Rome Consul comes back online. Um, we'll be able to uh, cast that um, that vote. So let's have a look at Illyricum's card. We can see it defends against the Macedonian and Germanic migrations. Uh, only allows a maximum of five provincial armies and has a base strength of two. Uh, provincial spoils are pretty daggy, uh, as is the state income. Um, uh, so really, you're looking to develop a lyricum fairly early, I think, to get any decent benefit out of the province for both the state and uh, and the governor as well. Um, all right, Rome Consul, are you coming back online? I think I can see your uh, your feature, but uh, you might be reconnecting your uh, devices. So we'll give uh, give that a moment. Excellent. And we uh, saw Pharaoh Crab, one of our uh, regulars and one of our streamers, uh, just drop in before to say good day. So hello to uh, Salwe, to Pharaoh Crab. Uh, he's currently doing a uh, a, a playthrough stream of. Um, uh, oh, crikey, I can't remember what game he's doing. He's doing the grand campaign of uh, one of the uh, latest Roman-themed uh, turn-based strategies out there. Um, I'll have to go back and watch it and find out now. <laughs> there we go. Marta Kawadi, uh, the Rome console. You're all back now, are you? Yes, I'm all back. So I was weighing up between um, Terentius or Junius, and I was going to put forward Junius first for their Illyricum um, governorship. Can I hear on first votes from Numerius Aurelius? Um, yeah, that's, I'll just, uh, 15, nay. Can I hear from Marcus Decimus? Um, then Quintus, Octavius. Was Marcus uh, Decimus uh, muted yeah, then, was good. he? Yes, could I please have those votes? Yep, sorry, correction. Uh, 16 votes in favour. Thank you. Okay. Got it. And I will put my five votes against. Okay. Um, next is Appius Rufius. Four votes in favour. Can, can I just check? Does Marcus still have 16 votes, given one of his governor, one of his... Let's do a quick count, shall we? Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay. Sorry. Previous word tally was 18. Right, okay. That makes sense, thank you. My, my math add, add, adds up, right? Yeah. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16. I wasn't sure if you had to update it now or it's the next go around or what. Excellent. Sorry, Rome Consult, back to you. Uh, I'm calling on Tiberius Cornelius. 16 against. Um, okay. Um, well, I think it doesn't matter which way I then vote. So I will abstain and we will call on next from Terentius as the nominee. Terentius is from the Manus faction. Can I call for your votes, please, Quintus? Uh, yeah, five votes against. Yep, there they are. <laughs> um, next, I'll call for Numerius Aurelius. Yeah, yep, that is, yeah, sorry, just had to unmute myself. Uh, 15 votes. Um, abstained. Next, I'll call for Marcus Decimus. I'll place my 16 votes against. Next, I'll call for Appius Rufius. Four votes against. Um, Tiberius Cornelius. 16 votes for. Um, next, I will place my 11 votes for. And it passes. That is 27 votes in favor, 25 against. Abstain. That was a close one. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's just passed. Barely. There we go. So this time we have Trentius 20 uh, from the Green faction. So let's uh, take a Lyricum out here and we'll grab one of the, uh, the Green little factions just to let us know. Very good. And let's go find Trentius 20 over here. Put his armor on. And this reminds me to hurry up and get the search function going on these cards. And a little bit of lag. Fantastic. <clears throat> I'm getting everyone but There he is. There he is. It looks dashing in his armor. He's one of the best looking uh, governors, I think, uh, in that armor there. There we go. He's out. He fits that hard stare that he's giving, doesn't it? <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. And we'll put the uh, away from Rome marker on him as well. So if you want to update your vote, tally there, Quintus Octavius as well. So, uh, Quintus looks a bit Moorish, like of Moorish descent. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four. Good. Uh, everyone's vote tallies are up today. All right. Uh, very good, Rome console. It looks like all our governorships have now been decided. Well done. Excellent. So next matter of duty is... No, law cards. Um, assignment of priests. Would the Pontifus Maximus like to assign any priests? Uh, that, that's okay. The Pontifus Maximus can do that at their leisure. They don't need to be prompted. That's okay. Recall the standard elections. No. Um, no. Okay. Confessions. We don't need them bills. Recruitment or disbandment of lesions. Okay. Um, can I show some gratitude? You know, votes of gratitude. Sure. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so we're up to combat. Is that correct? Um, uh, not quite at combat, but uh, we can uh, go to the wall. Yeah, you haven't not decided yet. on anything yet. <laughs> Yes. Um, dun, dun, dun. Yep. Uh, at this present time, for those that are tuning in and uh, watching along from home, so the, the Rome console will know about, no doubt be uh, considering uh, the uh, type of uh, force uh, that they may or may not send off to the Second Punic War over there. Um, uh, I suspect it's unlikely that the Senate may choose not to fight that this, this round, although that is an option. Um, but it's a case of how they might go about executing that now. So let's uh, see what the Rome Consul has to say. Um, I think it's important that we 
do fight wars when we have adequate resources and we have the opportunity to. So I think it's in our interest to, where are we? I'm going up, 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 up. The Punic, it's Punic. I'm struggling to move forward. I'm just, okay, but only one at a time. So we've got the second Punic War in Hannibal. So we've got okay, the second Punic War is the dun, 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 one that we were looking at. Okay. That's it. Okay. So okay. I'm going to put forward the proposal that we raise two legions and four ships. Um, is the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to call. I don't have Namira to really as the typer. Just mute himself while he types. Uh, ah, <laughs> thank you. Okay. So I'm going to put forward a proposal that we raise four ships and two legions. And so I'm going to hear from votes from Marcus Decimus first. I'll place my 16 votes in favour of the proposal. Next is Numerius Aurelius. Uh, that will be 15 in favour. Next we have Quintus Octavius. Uh, I shall put my three votes in favour. Excellent. And next we have the Lunar Faction. I have four votes in favour. Excellent. Looks like we're going to get a clean flush on this one, Tiberius. Could I call for your votes, please? 16 in favour. And I'll put 11 in favour, and the motion has passed. Very good. So, um, if uh, Rome Consul, if you want to assign somebody to update the state treasury and maybe assign somebody to collect the relevant units. Um, it looks like uh, Marcus Decimus is doing some of the forces, and if Quintus could do the treasury, very good. Good. good at using the. Uh, I guess it, notifying everybody that yes, we are down to just two talents in the state treasury, which is pretty precarious. Um, thankfully, there's a revenue phase that comes up before uh, the forum phase, but uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty tough. All right. Um, so therefore, then, um, when we are considering the uh, potential forces, then, um, of a potential field console, it would mm -hmm. be nullifying uh, the disaster and standoffs of the war. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's probably what we're looking at. I'm assuming that's the path that the Rome console is going down, sending the field console off to war with all forces potentially. Uh, so it's playing along at home. That's essentially the numbers that we're looking at. Is that what's on your screen there? Anyway, back to the Rome console. Sorry, I just wanted to throw that in there. That's okay. Okay. Hello. Is uh, that better? Oh, that's much better. Yeah, no more crackling in the yeah, background. Apologies. Very good. Yeah, well done. I thought it could be me. Um, the battery just could run out at some point. Um, That's okay. Okay, this is very exciting. So I am actually, is it the field console who's going to get to roll or will I roll? Uh, the field console of the commander will be doing the rolling eventually. Yay. And he has to go first, right? You can't. That is correct. Yeah. We've raised the fleets. Um, so we're going to vote on sending them to war. 
what from Comsol, you, yeah. I was hoping before we get to go on mm -hmm. to that vote that you would open the floor to other biz business. Ah, yes, that's true. I mean, the, the Comsol could be doing that afterwards um, because remember, the, the Senate session doesn't conclude uh, unless she is departing from Rome. Um, that is that's true. That is true. That's yeah. Is that that's going to be the case? We will have time for other business. Um, yeah. After we, I suppose, get that extra information as to how we go with the um, war. So, what is our total active forces that we're sending? One, two, three, four, five. It's already on the calculator it's there 20, for you, console. Oh, sorry, 20 legions, two veteran legions. So you're looking at about a 76% chance of victory with your current stats sending the field console off to war. So that 24 includes certain veteran legions as well? So it includes yes, all we of them. Have, mm -hmm. We have 20 yeah. legions, two veteran legions, and five fleets. Okay, so 24 but legions. But we can't send more. We don't have more resources. It's No, that's our maximum. No. And it's right. already not the best chances, but it's the best we can get now. So. Yeah, there's a risk also in leaving things as well. Okay. So I'm going to put it to vote that we're going to spend five fleets and 24 legions to prosecute the second Punic War, and I'm going to call on votes from Marcus Decimus. I'll place my 16 votes in favour of the proposal. Um, next, I'm going to call on Numerius Aurelius. So that is 18 votes uh, in favour. Sorry, I'm just putting them together. All good. good. Next, Quintus Octavius. I shall put my three votes in favour. Next is Appius Rufius. Four votes in favour. Next is Tiberius Cornelius. 17 in favour. And I will place 11 in favour as well. Alright. Looks pretty unanimous there. Right, so yep. <coughs> um, field console. I would like to also, first of all, call on the Pontifex Maximus to say a prayer. Uh, we uh, want to go on a war yet, are we? Doesn't matter. The console's called for one. That's acceptable. Can we it can happen now. Please. Uh, just, just as a higher, higher. Just as a, just just as as a time a, to anoint himself. And just, then, just as a point of order, can the Pontifex Maximus for? Uh, sorry, can the consul force me to do this right now? Uh, just as a no. no. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. Would you like me to? Uh, I would. I would like to perhaps say the prayer when these ships are sailing away, uh, consul. If that may be all right. Okay. Um, I would appreciate if it would be before the roll. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So I'm calling on Tiberius Cornelius faction. So we have our very, very brave field console. Scipio Africanus, but the first name I can't see. Peace, Cornelius Scipio Africanus. P Corne I yes. Cornelius. Hey. Cornelius Scipio Africanus. Um, yes. To get ready to do his role. Get ready to rumble. Yep. Good. Everyone's good. Wait, isn't this in the combat phase? The role? Yeah, we're, we're not, not in the, the combat, combat phase yet. yet. We are no. not in the yeah, combat we're phase. We're yet. still still in the farm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm just good at good, our think... loins. I think Marcus had. We are not in the forum phase. We are in the Senate phase, by the way. Yeah. Um, I, he, he means the forum of the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> forum <Okay>. of the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just skip to the revenue phase and get some more income and come back to this. Yeah. <laughs> it's Actually, okay. Uh, we, will, we will have to talk about money at some point. But at this point, you know, it's like the. The, the enjoyable kind of bit and you know you discuss the money afterwards you know i would uh i would like to use my my tribune please all right okay. yeah my, my one free tribune, tribune for nothing's time. happening right now so feel free yep uh... okay so uh my proposal is the following that uh as a as a uh experiment i guess or a uh consensus of goodwill uh, for our, our field console going to fight this uh, 
this war on the precipice that we all we all vote to uh, to give him encouragement. So if you would like to vote for encouragement uh, for the for the the field consult to do well, uh, please do so. So you're you're voting on the Senate sending uh, the good graces and encouragements. You're going to wait for the Rome. You're going to wait for the Rome consul to call for votes. I am going so to the tribune said, "Go for it." Of encouragement and my own prayers, which you know, and anointments of oil. Um, best wishes with you. I'd then like to call on votes from the Corona faction, Tiberius Cornelius. I support this, and if we lose, I'm going to rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Next, I call on Appius Rufius. I abstain. Oh, no. I will call on <laughs> Octavia. I will abstain as well. Next, Ooh. I'm going to call on Numerius. Carthaginian agents in the forum tonight. I should have used my tribune on having them executed, but <laughs> uh, no, no, the, the real yeah, chat move here is now now to veto it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so actually, sir, can I take my votes back and use my, my, my veto? I'm, I'm pretty sure you can veto at any time and, uh, before the final vote. Uh, well, uh, before I'd like to call on your votes yes, before um, hearing, you know, the rest I've, of... I've, I've voted, so... Mar Marcus Decimus. I'll have my 16 votes in favour of the... And yes, so the motion has passed and you do have these good wishes that we're all sending with you. <laughs> do you feel encouraged, Tiberius Cornelius? <laughs> I don't feel entirely like there's a unity of purpose sitting here <laughs> in the forum tonight. Uh, what's next, Rome Consul? Oh, next, um, well, we will be um, a, a small, a very short prayer by the Pontifus Maximus before we go into combat. Yes, I think uh, that's also a, a good uh, moment. I would like to uh, to distribute a priesthood to Furious of the uh, the Solus faction while oh, nice. uh, while we're on Excellent. topics of religious matter. Um, Thank and, you very much. And then with uh, then with the go ahead, I shall begin my prayer. Um, I was hoping I have a short time for other biz business before such matters. Um, I, I thought can, uh, we could do it just after the roll. Not after the combat phase, though. No, not after. Oh, did the uh, sorry? Did oh. the priest grab a priest? No, I sorry, oh, I had yeah, to grab, grab the your priest. Yeah. Okay, so we have to tie up any other Senate matters. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, the other thing was the money. Um, we are a bit low on money. So whether or not there was the possibility of a public deal of ensuring people donate to the state treasury. Um, obviously, if people do donate, I think it's 10, you do get a little bit of extra influence, isn't it? That is correct. Yeah. 10, 10 to be one influence. Um, if, if I may um, shill my proposal Rome console. My mm -hmm. my plan was just as a collective, we all take on the um, burden and have a public deal that each faction will donate a total of ten talents to the treasury during during the next phase to ensure whatever happens right. during this upcoming roll, we um we 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 at least have some some um talents to deal with it in the, in the in the following senate phase how many are we getting in the revenue phase probably not know. a lot with how many legions we have yeah not, not a lot well you just hope some die and you don't have to pay for them yeah that's, yeah. that's not thanks vladimir putin <laughs> <laughs> um yeah look i think it is a fair proposition and i feel that i would like to put out actually to the senate um uh, yep it is okay, so before for it's a call i would yeah sorry Abby, yes. go ahead. it is it may be a fair proposition but it's not a just proposition because they are, the wealth isn't distributed equally mm -hmm. so Correct. those who have more wealth should burden more, more. Mm -hmm. So per percentage of GDP, is that what we're saying? No, I and mean, we just invented progressive taxation. <laughs> Correct. But the other point is too that if people are donating less than 10, they don't get any extra influence. So it's a double whammy for these people as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm only proposing the um, 
bare minimum to allow that each faction would re at least receive something. Surely putting forward less than 10 would only be a negative influence to that fa faction. I mean, if you would like to have a look at my faction and its money, please, find my 10. Yeah, of course. Bare, but, bare um, minimum for the exact, economic powerhouses. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I only say, of course, if, if, if you're not able to meet the deal because of physical things, I don't think that's a negative... Because you're on the bones of your ass, yeah. Well, just a quick question for the Game Master. Are you allowed to use our governor's concessions, or are they not able to be used during that time as they're away? So all, all money you can collect can be transferred to and from your, your state, uh, rather your faction treasury, and subsequently to your other senators, so that's not a problem. Okay, so good. he can use his concession? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So and you mean his corruption? Then get, I thought he got extra yeah. money for being yeah. a governor as well, didn't he? At some point. Oh, no, so no extra it. governor, but he can take spoils from the province. Yeah, so there would be extra money from the province. Correct. Yeah. If I take spoils. But you can't, you force, you can't force anyone to Correct. take the spoils. You can't yeah. force Correct. them. Correct. Okay, look, I think it's a fair thing if people want to make clear where they stand around kind of donations because it does give us a it is a demonstration of loyalty goodwill commitment to the greater good and so i feel that it is a fine thing to have a public deal of people who do feel that they can contribute and are showing goodwill in that way, and they could put something into the chat to say that they are on board with these 10 talents, and we do have that as an option. And I am going to put it forward, the proposal that those that wish to are able to... The proposal or a public just, agreement? Yeah, I just want to jump in here, and, and Quintus Octavius is picking up on it. You'll be very careful not to use the language of proposal because you okay, can't correct. propose public what you're about agreement. to propose. So yeah. talk about public, public agreement. agreement. Yep. yep. It was yep. a public agreement and I would personally agree to be putting in 10 talents to the state treasury. And if anybody else, yeah, feels that it's, you know, a suitable option given, yeah. Yep. I, I feel we need to u u unite and, and share the burden across all of the factions. I, I would agree to a public deal. Yes. I reject this framing that not paying this amount would uh, be considered illoyal to the state. And because it's it's not, a f it's maybe a fair deal, but it's not a just deal. So I, yeah, I I'm not in it. agree on that. And I don't think that even if, I would, I would just like to yeah. add that, um, you know, the issue is that that some senators who may have done their due diligence in saving are being asked to, to mm -hmm. shoulder the burden of the state for a little return, uh, while other yeah. senators who uh, live high on the horse cannot do so. So I think that it's a, you know, it's a bit unfair to that regard. Correct, which is why I was saying that I think it is fine and fair of well, if the purpose is to show this to the state to ensure that we have that extra thing, just because other people don't do it, it doesn't mean that it takes away from you doing it yourself. You're also trying to say it has a negative influence on the people who don't. Well, well, well I, guess, it... I guess why do we need a public deal, right? Yes, because she said just... it is illoyalty to the state. Did I say illoyalty? Yes. Did I? <laughs> yes, you did. You did. You oh. did. Yes. Perhaps the console simply had a slip of the tongue. Perhaps. I'm I'm still trying to get over that malafor that uh, Numerus Aurelius proposed that living living high on your horse is that what you said? Yes. <laughs> I like that. What's a, what's what's what, what's the word? We we dis we dis disavow. We don't we don't use those that kind of lang, lang, language. <laughs> I still think it's fine that if people wish to kind of show their commitment to having putting forward that support when the time comes, I think it is fine for it to be a public deal 
do you know what I mean? To show the fact of the follow through of their commitment. Yeah. I think I think it's only worth it being a pub public deal if everyone was going to put put in. If 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 it does appear that there are a number of factions who don't want to make it a public deal, I think at this stage we'll just have it when the revenue phase comes and we get that opportunity. Those who are able shall shall do do so. I was only proposing that we all try to stand together and and spread spread the burden of um of of this unique situation across all of the factions. Yeah, and I think it is a fair point to put it out that there is a need there in the state and those that can contribute can do so and it's good to be reminded of that. I'd just like to interject and say that living high on the horse sounds better in Roman, uh, in Latin, <laughs> sorry, where it translates to equo excelso. Oh, lovely. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Does I, I would have been a good Roman, right? <laughs> okay, you are a good Roman, Aurelius. You are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so on that point, which I would take as one of kind of, yes, looking to the future and thinking about our future selves, um, I will call upon Tiberius Cornelius to um, enter the combat phase. And are we ready to roll? So the words you're looking for there, Consul, is I now conclude this Senate session. I now conclude this Senate session. Let's roll. Okay, so the scribe <laughs> is wondering if he should just scrap all of that deal that was just made. Yeah, yes. correct. <laughs> All right, so with that uh, command from the Rome Consul, we are now going to enter into the combat phase. We'll just double check our roll sheet, make sure there's nothing left uh, that we uh, needed to look at. I think we're pretty good there. We did all of our mandatory uh, proposals there. We went through the census part there and assigned governorships, and then, of course, we sent a force off to war. So now we're in the uh, combat phase here. We've pretty much done all of our calculations uh, already and based on our combat calculator, but let's just double check that, make sure that we are, in fact, correct, because sometimes when you're using calculators, you can, in fact, make errors um, despite the use of technology. So uh, can we confirm that the commander's military rating is, in fact, five? Correct. Confirmed. Yep. It's, in fact, it's down here in front of us as well. Yes, it is. Very good. We can zoom in. Uh, we can tell, we can confirm that our legion uh, strength is 24, including the veterans. Yep. That is correct. Good. And we see that um, Scipio Africanos is able to nullify the disasters and standoff numbers on the war card itself, but not the leader. Correct. And that is reflected here in these two stations. Uh, what is the the base war strength of the Second Punic War is 15. We have that there. And we have the uh, addition of Hannibal at plus seven, the leader's rating uh, there as well. So um, therefore, that's going to give us a die roll model of fire of seven to our 3D6 when we go and roll that. And so uh, Wait, roughly going to give us about a 76% chance of victory. I do have a point of order. The yeah. war DS numbers... Are they not inside the cake? So they are not the war from the Second Punic War. The war DS numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not. They're not. Uh, uh, they're cancelled due to uh, the uh, special ability. Ah, yeah. you after the Sorry. Yep. Sorry, good. Sorry, no, glad. I'm glad you're asking the question. That's good. You know, that's what I like. That's what I like we to do. Even if, uh, you know, there's there's no dumb questions, uh, no dumb observations in this game. Uh, it's always great to triple check, measure twice, slash once, as we say in the combat phase. <laughs> I'm just double check something before we roll. Is yeah. the the leader's disaster and and st standoff numbers are they hard numbers or, or soft numbers? Uh, they're nine, hard six, hard numbers. Eight. They're of hard die. Okay. Okay. Yes, of the, of the three d six die roll before modifiers. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Good good question again as well. Um. All right. Outside of that, uh, <clears throat> if there's um nothing else further that people want to add, uh, you know, Pontifus Maximus additionals discussion or something uh then i guess we can hand over to our commander to do his 3d6 roll and add seven yes. so i'm going to move my view up to the combat table so i am uh, happy to do my prayer if it is the correct time uh okay <clears throat> once again i call upon mars our great and beneficial god of war who has blessed us many times now please allow us your faithful soldiers to ride our horses high into battle and to win <laughs> and that our, uh, that our weapons may strike true and that we may cut down 
the barbarian Hannibal uh, and win for your glory. Huzzah! You. Amen! Huzzah. <laughs> Yay! All right, as the uh, the bold and um, overconfident commander that I am, I'm going to get straight into it and charge the charge the enemy's yep. lines. Oh, uh, uh. what are we? What uh, happened there? Seven, uh, what a seven, a one, and a one. So we got seven, one and a one. Oh no, sorry, no, it, it was be. a total of seven and plus one. So a six, a one, and a one. Yes. It's eight total. Right, so eight plus eight. seven, fifteen. Correct. Mm -hmm. Vic victory, three legions, three fleets lost, and it's not a disaster or a standoff number. Congratulations! That's, luckily, wow. So, so we got through that. Start? That's amazing. Yeah, that's victory. It's, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's wow. Yes. We don't it's... have to pay for those legions. So. <laughs> I'm it, so glad you're in here. In fact, still in fact it seems like it was the perfect role. I, I think it was the perfect role. Uh, is, it, is it a problem that we no longer have our full fleet, though? Or is that... No, because you defeated no, the wall. It's gone. No, no, it's great. Cut that curd down to size. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, um, let me bring up my little um, uh, facilitator sheet to make sure we do everything that we need to do upon a victory. So well done to the commander for achieving a victory here. That will make you guys feel um, at ease knowing that you've done that really well. Yeah, guys, it's not like <laughs> loss. You. First of all, can yeah. I please have um, somebody reduce the unrest level by one for a victory, please? We go from a three to a two. That's fantastic. Um, now, uh, we get mortality chips equal to the number of units lost, which we know includes fleets based off our last session. So there's a total of six draws that need to occur here for the military commander. Um, so at this point in time, uh, let's move across to the mortality bay and uh, just to the immediate right is where we're going to place it. Now, what's the ID number of your commander there? 1A. One. A. One. One. So we just we don't want to draw a one. All right. So let's draw them out um, as you go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Looking good so far. Okay. Halfway there. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, there's a Easy. none. Nice. That's it. Well done. Perfect. You can drop those all back in. So thankfully the commander also survives the battle. So that is great news. So well done there. Okay. Uh, now the commander, you get to pick one of the um, uh, legions that. Uh, becomes uh, veteranized, uh, but I think we need to probably calculate losses first. So uh, um, first of all, let's do fleets. If somebody wants to drop all the fleets in the determined destroyed legions fleets box there, grab this, grab the five um, and drop them in. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And uh, draw the first three out and they will be the destroyed ones. Good. Let's uh, plop those in back into the uh, the fleets bag down the bottom there. Great. And then somebody can uh, take the remaining fleets out and put them back on the board. That's it. Good teamwork. Look at that. Uh, and great. Yep. Drop them all in. Thank you, Marcus Decimus. And three. First three to come out will die. Excellent. No legions there. That's nice. Let's drop them back in the um, legions bag. That other one. That's it. Good. Uh, and uh, let's pull all the rest of the uh, legions out, and then our commander can pick which one's going to be veteran. Just be careful not to accidentally flip them. Careful, folks. Careful. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm going to choose the Mighty Tenth. The Mighty Tenth. Oh, well done. Uh, hopefully, uh, Fratensis, because oh, there was actually technically two Tenth Legions, wasn't there? So um, uh, he's going to make the Tenth uh, a veteran, so please go grab yourself the respective veteran allegiance marker and go place that back on your card of your dude in Rome. Um, well done there, and uh, and then we'll uh, get down and when when you're ready, we'll we'll talk about popularity and influence. Would you like me to add the twenty-five the points? Yes, thank you. Uh, yes, at this stage we'll have Quinus Octavius add the twenty-five talents from the victory. Thank you, Quinus Octavius. That will be <laughs> well yes. received by the Senate. Does that count for my ten? Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, we'll just uh, just get, uh, wait a moment there. Um, okay, have you managed to get your veteran allegiance marker there, Tiberius Cornelius? Yes, I have, yes. Perfect. All right, so now what I'd like you to do is you get to add half fractions rounded up 
of the base value of the war card, um, which is unmodified, so the 15, which I make to be 8. Do you agree? Yes. Uh, so you increase your popularity to the maximum and increase your influence by 8 for um, Scipio Africanus. So how much popularity you got? Uh, you go to maximum, which will be 9 now, so you've got max pop. You're completely untouchable now. <laughs> yeah. He's early. for now. That's, uh, that's pretty close. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a popular guy. And uh, and then we just have a zoom in. So it says, a victory creates provinces of Hispanica uh, Quiterior and Hispanica Ulterior. Amazing. Um, so if somebody would like to grab those two provinces, please, and chuck them in the forum. Can somebody grab Hannibal and pop him in the Curia as well? Yeah, we can roll for his death. Yeah, that's right. Thank God. Well, um, <laughs> Where's the uh, they'll be in the province pile next to the event deck, good sir. Uh, yeah, right. um, you happy for me to take the Punic to the discard? Please do. His Hispania and what was the other one, sorry? Uh, Alteria and Cateria. So the, the two Hispanicas, so it's all of Spain. And we're going to reveal the map. Yes, yes, we can. So let's uh, come over here um, when everybody's ready. I'll zoom in on that part of the map. I'll get my special uh, marker here. There we go. Um, and it's pretty much just all of Spain, right? So let's. Uh, is everybody ready for the reveal? I want. It's I want map everybody time. to be. Able... Oh, somebody's clearing the map. Thank you, Tobias Cornelius. That's oh. very good of you. No, 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 no. Map time. All right. Are we ready for the big reveal? New provinces that we've gained on the defeat of the Second Punic War. Uh, here we go. One. There's Hispania, Quiterio, and two. Is there a delay? Ooh, a look at us expanding. Okay, it's not clicking. Oh, gosh. What's happening? Let me not like a, this. Let me do a refresh of my uh, marker. There hey, we go. Beautiful. All right. As a long-term player of war games, I can guarantee nothing spikes a dopamine like colouring in the map. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we yeah, had people look at over that. the other day and we were That's... discussing our retirement plans of what they wanted to do in retirement. And yeah, they want to run a board game shop. Like not a shop. Oh, wow. Like yeah, a board game bar. That's their dream. That they're going to just like run a board game bar. And it just so happens that we have a massive house where we live, which has a two bedroom granny flat. We have two roommates in the front house. And I actually own a commercial property, which is a very large size next to a thing in an underground. Oh, cool. Make a perfect board game thing for when we all retire together and live in one nice. house together. It's gonna be like <laughs> this really great, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> so you'll be about you'll be about a host Republic of Rome. Oh yeah, yeah, live as well too. And have people live here as well too, because once the kids move out, we're gonna have, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wicked. <laughs> like, do, do, do one of those setups where, like, you stream the games as well and have all the cameras, like, go around the map. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have, like, a 3D mud, mud map of Europe as it gets revealed. Yeah, I don't know. I just think that it's kind of, like, it was just really funny how that was, yeah, like, their ultimate retirement dream. And that's what they're kind of, yeah, actually seriously thinking of doing. All right. So there's one last thing we need to do. Um is uh, the commander needs to lose one popularity for every two legions lost, rounded down. Um, so therefore, he needs to lose one popularity. Um, but he, because he earns so much in his popularity, he won't actually drop anything from nine. So because he earns so much popularity, he'll lose one, but he's still at his maximum because he was already quite high in his pop there. So, But I just want to put that on the record that we have technically deducted the loss of popularity for the loss of the three legions. Um, but nonetheless, that doesn't affect his... Uh, uh, and we'll have Alan yell at you. Yeah, and have Alan Richard yell at me saying, you forgot this, but it doesn't make a difference uh, at the moment. Uh, cool. So that is everything then. Um, we have uh, gone through the, the checklist there, which is fantastic. And I was just quickly looking through our checklist to make sure there's nothing further to do at the end of the combat phase. Uh, there are no provincial wars, no pro provinces currently under attack. Uh, we don't have any unprosecuted wars this time, which is quite lovely because we've only got the one inactive war and that doesn't count for anything mm -hmm. right now. And subsequently, we don't need to uh, check for any war exhaustion because there are no wars six or more. So that's very good. Well done, folks. Uh, let us now conclude the uh, combat phase and we'll move into the revolution phase. Brilliant. So we go down here to our cheat sheet 
and uh, talk about intrigue. So, so uh, all players can freely trade cards uh, from their hand um, to and from each other. So, if there are people that are wanting to trade cards, now is the time. I'll give you a moment to think about that. Let me just pull it from your hand real quick. <clears throat> Apologies, I can only see two of you. I might have to log back in. Okay. Um. So, uh, uh, Rome Console is going to log back in on the uh, on our uh, chat feature. Uh, everybody else, if you just want to do a quick chat of the uh, video to make sure that you can see everybody at the very least. Yes, I can see everybody. So we're okay. on to revolution. So <laughs> yes, it's the season for revolution. It is. Uh, so anybody else? Any card? Any card changes? Anybody else need some time to think about this? Going Ooh. once, going twice. No, we're going to move on. Um, <clears throat> now we asked this question early, and again, I don't like its weird placement, uh, but nonetheless, we offer it the, at this time. Um, or we'll get around there when we get to the HRA. I was going to talk about um, disbanding veteran legions. So uh, have a think about that before we get to you there, uh, Tiberius Cornelius, as to whether you may want to disband your legion uh, or not. Um, What's the benefits again? Uh, so if you disband your legion, you'll gain one influence and one oratory for your senator until such time as the Senate needs to draw upon that legion from the force pool. Um, and the way to uh, revive that legion for the use of the Senate again is to pay 10 talents from your personal treasury during the Senate phase as a consul. Right. Very specific conditions. Um so have a think about that, and when it comes to your turn, you'll be able to make that decision. But let's start with the HRAO, which is the Rome console. Um, we get to see if you'd like to play any cards uh, from your hand, So, uh, which is senators and or concessions. Uh, so, Marta Kawedia, um, would you like to play anything from your hand at this stage? Um, no, I would not. Thank you. No, you will not. Okay, cross to Marcus Decimus. Marcus Decimus, would you play anything from your hand at this stage? I mean, Marcus Decimus. Can you hear me, Marcus Decimus? Yes, sorry, sorry. Sorry, right, yep. Uh, any, any cards from your hand at this stage? To play? Yes, from your hand onto the field of yes. the forum. I'll have a Ooh, he's going to play a mining concession. That sounds pretty cool. I'll I'll sort out all, all of this. <laughs> all right. Uh, and Numerous Aurelius, any cards from your hand at this stage? Uh, just as a quick point, can... Yeah. Uh, I have two on the same senator. Yeah, the yeah there's no limit to the amount of concessions on a single oh, senator. Okay, yep. perfect. Um, Just right, makes you so more of a target for prosecutions, really. Uh, I guess in that case, I will... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's brought out the, uh, the uh, armaments uh, concession, which is an interesting one. Mm. Um, so for each legion raised from now on, collects two talents. Um, perhaps not as profitable with such a large force already in the board, but maybe that might pay off later if you can hang on to that. Uh, cool. Cross to Quinnus Octavius. Any cards from your hand at this stage, good sir? Not at the moment, no. All right. Appius Rufius, any cards from your hand at this stage? Yes, I will play cards. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what he plays. I see a concession Tax coming out. Tax, Tax Farmer. Four. Ship oh, no, ship building. Nice. And they go to Ami Aemilius. Amelius, yeah, yeah, certainly. Very good. And finally, uh, Tiberius Cornelius, I guess you've got the choice to play cards from your hand as well as you've got that consideration about uh, potentially disbanding your veteran legion. So uh, over to you. Yeah, so I will disband those two legions. Uh, you mm -hmm. can dis uh, uh, i just got to check. I think you can only disband the one that you just received. All right. Um, well, I'll do that then. That's a good question. Let's just double check in the book. Um, let's go to our advanced uh, section there, but I'm pretty sure it's just for the the, uh, the veteran legion that you just received. It's, uh, we're just going to double check. There we go, legion disbandment. So we're looking in the back of the rule book here. Um, <clears throat> ah, no. So as I read it here, I, I'm perhaps incorrect. So when it's your turn to play cards. Um, non-rebel returning commander may disband any veteran legions in his force for which he holds the allegiance market. So I was incorrect there. I apologise. So you can, in fact, if you wish to disband both, you may. I will disband both. 
Great. Uh, so we are going to just take those. Uh, well, we're going to flip those over for you. Um, just keep those on the bar. And what was it? The tenth and the what? Sorry. The tenth and the first. Yeah. So put it goes them over up there to on the, on the thirty-one. Side. Pardon? The 10th and the 1st. There we go. Yes. Put that back over there. Oh, there yeah, go. that's right. The yeah, put those with the back. others. So that shows us that uh, those are all Veteran Legions out um, on holiday. 30, 35 is enough in order to get the um, uh, the um, yeah, automatic life. appointment, right? Correct. That is correct. All right. Um, right. I don't, I don't even want it. <laughs> Cool. All right. So we are, uh, concluded that part of. Uh, so yes. Um, I, yeah. You'll be able to go ahead and add your two influence to um, Scipio Africanus now. So he's up to thirty-one. Good. And of course, uh, you've got an extra two votes there to add to your vote uh, tally marker there, um, as a result of your extra two oratory for him. So well done. All right. I also uh, want to play this card here. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. What do you got? So it's the Statesman for Fulvius. Oh wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So. Uh, um, what are the implications for uh, the Elder? Yeah, so we've talked about this uh, previously in our games before. <clears throat> um, um, so he's going to inherit all the tokens and all the concessions and the sensors and the prior consoles uh, leading up. Um, and, I, and I can't recall off the top of my head what we reached as a consensus as to whether they take on the aging component. Um, and, I, and I think they do because when you read... The standard rules it says to take on all tokens of the base family card and therefore we can only interpret they also mean aging tokens in this case and i think that's what we're going to go with here is that he will keep the elder but token as well you have to put the family card beneath underneath that is correct yep so yeah, you have to put him such that we don't get mixed up with the votes correct so, oh, sorry. correct yep so uh uh, we'll let uh, Tobias Cornelius uh, shuffle his cards there, but yes, make sure the family card goes underneath the statesman. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that, was, that was rough. That was rough. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Cards a bit well. <laughs> uh, we'll give you a moment to sort that out. I'm just going to re fix, re square your tokens for you. You pick them up and press the one key, that straightens them up. Uh, you might have to flip your token. There you go. That's it. That's it. Take your time. There you go. All right. I think we're all sorted there now. <laughs> that was that was quite decorative. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Now we can um, Fireworks uh, finish winning. off the rest of our revolution phase. <clears throat> um, so we have uh, nobody with any cards over five or more here. No, we're all good there. Fantastic. And uh, we sort of got an indicator already because he's technically disbanded his legions. I, bet, I suppose he could reverse that. But we'll ask the formal question as to whether he returns his forces to Rome. Of course, he always has the option to check for loyalty first. Uh, Tiberius Cornelius, um, this is, uh, I guess, your, your area to talk at us. What, what are my options? Uh, to declare war or not on the state. <laughs> no, not declare war on the state, no. Come back okay, my triumph. Time. Very good. So it sounds like then he returns to Rome to collect his triumph. Uh, so all the, oh gosh, all the legions will return to Rome, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, we'll remove the, uh, the general back to his home as well. And you can update your vote tally marker again now that you're uh, back. Very, very popular man. Very, very influential. Um, uh, amazing. Oh, good. I like what you're doing, tracking your oratory High there gravitas. separately. That's good. High gravitas. Yes, correct. Yes. Uh, uh, significant gravitas. That's right. <laughs> I was thinking, is Scipio Africanus going to retire soon? Uh, we don't have retirement in this game because oh, no, um, we're using a different aging last, rule. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I was looking, like, oh my god, he's so. He's a potent individual because uh, he's not an elder uh, senator yet either, which is uh, which is Ooh. great. Uh, hopefully, I haven't just jinxed that for the next phase. Um, he's a man. So the they've. <laughs> so um, uh, with our, our good, gracious commander returning, uh, we will now check for victory conditions, which we don't have any. Um, what Treasury is, he, is fine. Uh, one question: What is his? Yeah. What does this seven, seven, number seven as a card? Uh, he's just indicating his increase in oratory because of his disbanded legions. I like that. I think that's a good way of doing it. That's fine. Good idea. Um, so, yeah, it's not a, not a bad idea like that. Just just indicating that his oratory is different from its base based on his disbanded legions. So that's good. Uh, with that, then we're going to conclude the revolution phase and move into the when I click the button mortality phase. Very good. So we have to draw two mortality chits as a part of this process. Let's just double check our cheat sheet. I haven't forgotten something here. 
Uh, imminent war, we don't have any. Um, we're going to increase right. each war by one, but we don't do that with inactive Interruption. wars because they're inactive. So let's just age. Uh, seek to age our senators. Who hasn't done uh, yet? Who hasn't drawn it. mortality chits? Yes. Uh, I was going to say, did uh, Mark Aurelia actually get a chance to play cards? I have no cards I need to play. So it's okay, we didn't. Thank you for fair. checking. Thank you. Oh, uh, no, she, she was started us off as the HRAO, so um, uh, yep, I, I'm pretty sure I started with her, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, Marcus Decimus, uh, you can draw mortality chits today for us. Very if you well. care to draw two out, let's see which are uh, the lucky senators. None. That's a good draw, first of all. And draw two. 15, 15 and five. Five and 15. Who are they? I've got a dead senator. Oh, are you it kidding? 15 and five, sorry. Uh, so we've got one over here, five. Who's got Senator Roger's 15? Yep. But he's uh, away Sulpicius, from Rome, right? Sulpicius, yeah, he'll still age, though. Oh, okay, so, okay. so he'll grab an yeah. elder token. This that's governorship right. is really Did you harsh, get them right? both those numbers? Yeah, yeah. You did. That's, that's unlucky. I missed well, it. Why was the governorship harsh? I... No, no, well the governorship's fine. Um, it's just no, that poor because... Marcus Decimus has had some serious... He has become uh, an elder now. He has become an elder now, and I... I I was thinking the governorship over there must be really harsh. Because yeah, he's, he's got a very So both of them are in your thing, market. Yes. Yeah, unlucky, oh. right? Two. What are the chances of that? So Claudius will go off to the Curia. Tax Farmer 2 will head off to the Forum. That's it. Um, now, we're going to make sure we place them in order. So um, Claudius will go underneath, if I got that uh, correct. And being away from Rome doesn't protect you. No, it doesn't, no. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that was quite a um, was very yeah, considerable loss. Very hard. Yes, indeed. Um, that will draw end to our uh, mortality phase. So now we get to move into our revenue phase, something a little bit more positive outside that. All right, here we go, folks. Uh, did we want to take a break? Are you... Um, I think uh, I think we should take a quick fiver before we uh, step off into yeah. the next section here. So uh, uh, for those watching live, uh, stand by. We'll take a quick five-minute break so our senators can uh, stretch their legs, refresh their beverages, uh, and uh, and I guess uh, we'll be back um, uh, very shortly to continue on with the revenue phase. Don't go. And Salute Omnes, we are now back. Thank you very much for your patience. For those that were uh, watching us or are watching us live, Oh, we've got a tickle in the throat. I'm just so excited. Uh, we are now back at the beginning of the revenue phase. Um, our, our factions have just taken a quick break, and now we are back, and uh, and we're going to crack on. So we're going to use our handy-dandy calculator like we always uh, like to do, bring up that revenue calculator, and uh, all the factions know what to do. I'll take care of the state again, everybody, um, but uh, for all the factions there, please uh, go ahead and start updating all of your details as necessary. So... Um, I'll uh, narrate what I'm doing for the state. So we've got the active forces that we need to count up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Legions here now because we did lose a few in the last combat, which is most unfortunate. Fleets, we have two. Uh, we need to take the Pontifus Maximus and the Provincial Wars rule there. We see we've got the Type uh, 2 land bill still. Oop. Um, I've got the land bill collected now. Sorry, if you've got the land commissioner, you can select it now. Sorry, I was a bit slow. Um, <clears throat> we've got no active wars, we've got no droughts, and no evil omens, so... Uh, um, Orange, uh, Corona, you selected my tax farmer, actually. Oh, did I? It's, it's sorry, interesting sorry, that you I'm want sorry. to, to get <laughs> even more money, but... Uh... Well, you know, I'm, I'm a censor, so I can't be prosecuted for it. <laughs> yeah, that's point. All right, do, so... Uh, do I take improvement for the governorships? If I want to try and improve it? Or is that uh, right? you want your? I was just gonna um, say, um, so to improve your province, you need to not take spoils. Okay, no, so he's I asking if I... he needs to tick yeah. the improved box. No, so you'll only tick the improved box if your province is improved, which is, um, uh, who owns that? Who owns that province? Who owns the uh, improved province right now? That uh... is Moon Faction, Appius Rufius. Yeah. Adenia et Corsica, you need to add that province to yourself. 
Is it developed or not developed? Yeah, it's yes, developed. It is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. So you get to hit the improved tick box next to your province. So it doesn't make sense to try to improve it because I won't get any influence. Um... Well, what it, what it's saying is you could take spoils with no penalty because it's already improved. So if you decide to take spoils, spoils, it's not going to penalize anything other than you get corrupt. Yeah, but if I want, to, don't want to uh, take the spoils and rather p would prefer to get a chance for the influence, I won't get the influence because it's already imposed. Yeah, correct. Right. Yeah, no opportunity to get influence. That's right. Yep. Because yeah. it's already improved. That's correct. All right. So I can see um, uh, Marcus Decimus will be taking spoils. Um, so uh, as a part of this process, can you grab a corruption marker and place it on your uh, governor? Um, and that will sit with him um, for the duration until he comes back to his first census session. Um, no other... Um, oh, yes, I guess uh, the governor, for, good. Thank you, Apis Rufius. You're ahead of me there. Well done. So we'll just get that nice and early. Uh, and then when you're ready, just tick your uh, ready box. Make sure everybody you've ticked your concessions. Uh, we're waiting on blue faction, red faction now. Now we're just waiting on red faction and we're all ready. Okay. Here we go. Let's hit and uh, generate revenue. Please read all your details in your boxes, please. Um, and in particular, see if any provinces developed. Um, I'm just checking them myself now. Um... So no, no province improvements. Okay, and uh, the uh, the average, uh, so red and orange both get 14 talents each, yellow 11, uh, only nine for green, 17 for blue, and then a massive 20 talents for the purple faction. That's uh, pretty uh, pretty big. Um, yeah, wow, so what, I'll, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, good, people, make sure governors, you update your term dials, please. Good, I see uh, Sardinia Corsica has already done that. Well done. Everybody should be on two of three now, governors, two of three. Of course, you can pass money between all of your senators and your faction treasury. Make sure your sums are adding up, all right, um, so you're not uh, fluffing the numbers. And, of course, if you're planning to pass money to other factions, now is the time to do so. Um, we won't close the window just yet. So has anybody updated the state yet? I have updated the state, yes. Thank you very much. Yes, 58 to the state. That's not bad. It up there a lot. 34, it was the cost of the legions, minus four for the fleets, five for the land bills, of course. Um, and then we had um, a couple of negative incomes for the uh, provinces, except for Sicilia, which was the bread belt of, yeah. uh, of Rome. Sicilia covers the other two provinces and Yes, Amazon. exactly right. Yeah, that's right. And we have to make sure to spend the local taxes for... Yes, that, that's right. Uh, we'll touch on that in just a moment. Um, okay. We'll do that audibly um, uh, with everybody there. And then we'll give everyone an opportunity to uh, contribute money to the state in just a moment as well. Um, we'll just wait. Uh, um, let's uh, While we've got the box up, let's go up there. So uh, let's start with you, Appius Rufius and Sardinia and Corsica. You've got 10 local taxes to spend unless you want to supplement that. Would you like to raise any units for the province? Apis Rufius, can you hear me? I think you're on mute. Sorry, uh, um, to spend four, uh, so I have to spend ten local taxes, right? This... I guess you don't have to spend, but you've only got ten to spend. Uh, but you can supplement that with Amelius's personal treasury. I... Well, I have to spend the local taxes. I guess it's it's required. If I correct, uh, oh, okay, I can't we'll recall. It but it's it's uh, it'd be good guff to spend it anyway. It can't yeah. hurt to raid um, provincial armies. So and how much fleet. does a provincial armies cost? Ten, uh, ten each. There's no. Yeah. But I can still produce a uh, fleet, right? Because we're not at the max. Yep, yeah, correct. Yeah. That is correct. If you want a third oh. fleet, you may. Yeah. Uh, can I clone it? Or no, no. Where is? I uh, just pull one from the bag. That's it. Nice and easy. All right, cool. Let's go across to uh, Sicilia under Sulpicius and Marcus Decimus. You've got 30 to spend unless you want to supplement that with personal treasury. Um, uh, you are already state. at max fleets. Yep, so I'll be grabbing um, three legions, provincial uh, legions. Three provincial armies, good. So that's a little bit uh, closer towards the, the max 10. So I think you're, you're right to do that. You can see the bag there. Good. And finally, let's go to Terentius. Uh, 
You've only got five, so in order to get any, you'd have to add five yourself from your personal treasury if you wish to do so there, um, Quintus Octavius. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a no. Yeah, it's going to be a no. Not a problem. Uh, right, so um, governors have spent their forces. I think, uh, is everybody happy for us to close the um, window now? Everybody's done all their calculations and updated their their monies, etc. going once. Well, everybody's ticked their boxes, so that's the indicator, right? <laughs> we yep. can close that. Uh, now, let's uh, start with the highest ranking available official, and uh, let's see if anybody wants to make contributions to the state. As we can see on the cheat sheet, a minimum of 10 talents will give one influence, 25 or three, 50 talents for seven. Um, every center can donate uh, talents to state treasury. So let's start with the HRAO current Rome consul, Marco Wedia. Marco Wedia, would you like anybody to donate to the state treasury at this time? You're currently mute. Yes, Platius is going to make a 10 talent donation to the state. Platius is going to make a 10 talent donation. Very good. So if you'd like to deduct that from his uh, yep. pool, and I can see Quintus Octavius, fire away. Very good. And uh, grab yourself an influence uh, for him. Okay. You'll perhaps want one of those. I've done it for you. Um, what do you he goes to three. Here we go. Do you want to update that to three? Perfect. Yeah. Well done. Uh, let's go across to Marcus Decimus. Any state contributions from you, good sir? I will. Um, Furious will be adding 25 talents to the state treasury. Woohoo! All right. Uh, very good. So, uh, Quintus Octavius, uh, 25 to the state treasury, please. And as we can see, uh, 25 is going to give him three influence. So, don't forget to uh, uh, update Furious's uh, influence there as well. Marcus Decimus, good contribution. Look at that. Well done. Uh, Numerus Aurelius, any state contributions from you, good sir? Uh, yes, Cato will donate 25. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Another 25, please, Quintus Octavius. Ah, fantastic. So, uh, yep, he's going to ditch the coin. Lovely. I'll get rid of that. That's fine. Perfect. And uh, please make sure uh, he gets his uh, influence as well. And as we can recall, three influence for 25 talents. So make sure you add that to Cato, the elder's card there. Brilliant. And, yes, Treasury is increasing. Uh, Quintus Octavius, any state contributions from you? Uh, no, there will not be. Only Appius Rufius, any state contributions from you? There will not be. Not be. And across to Tiberius Cornelius, so I was uh, cautious here, but there is no money currently on the most influential guy, so he's not going to try and snip victory. Uh, but nonetheless, let's ask for anybody else. Any state contributions, uh, Tiberius Cornelius? Yeah, 10 from Julius. 10 from Julius. Very good. Quintus Octavius, yep, you've done the pleasure there. Fantastic. Please make sure you add the influence of one to Julius's uh, bottom line there. Brilliant. Fantastic. All right, so everyone has now had a, an, a, an option to add contributions to the state treasury. Um, we've seen all the governors update their term dials. Let's just double check, in fact, that they have and everyone's on two. Yes, yes, and yes. Well done. And... Um, no, everyone's done their local forces as well, and everything else has been calculated by the state, which is fantastic. Uh, and that will come to an end of the forum phase, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sorry, the revenue phase, and that which will eventually lead us into the forum phase. But we are now going to draw a conclusion to the end of our session here this evening, and we will pick up with turn six forum phase uh, next week. We are at this stage still scheduled to go ahead next week, uh, which is... December, right, folks? Uh, wow. We're, that is correct. We're, yeah. at, we're at the end of the year. Uh, and that may be, next week may be our last one for the year uh, as uh, I am moving cities and moving states. Um, and so I'll need to set up in my new Praetorium uh, and, and we'll commence hosting again there at some point in the new year. Um, but uh, nonetheless, we'll leave uh, session six, turn six, uh, and we'll get ready for the forum phase next week. So uh, that's uh, that's very brilliant. Um Look at this stage for those watching live. Stick around. I'll do my end of session summary like I normally do. But at this stage, we'll wave goodbye to our senators and I'll say goodbye to them in the background. So, senators, please give us a, uh, uh, a wale, walete. Wale, walete. 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 Perfect. Walete. Stick around. Don't go away. We'll be back very shortly. And we are back. I'm seeing audio. Yes, always good to check. Uh, cool. There's the uh, end of session six, uh, end of session six. Uh, a little bit of a shorter session today, um, just to keep things uh, um, smooth. You know, we had a bit of a break there for a while, um, but it's uh, all the factions and <clears throat> the players are eager to get back on board and commence playing. Uh, 
what were some of the highlights? Oh, well, of course, of course, we've got to talk about the uh, the victory with the Second Punic War, don't we? Uh, that was uh, a great outcome. A little bit concerned there initially when we were trying to add up the dice that, that rolled out, but uh, thankfully it was a good roll. It wasn't a disaster, a standoff number from the uh, from the enemy leader, Hannibal. And nonetheless, uh, we were successful in defeating uh, the, the Punic uh, forces uh, there, which is really great. So we saw two new provinces uh, born for our republic, and that was revealed on our global map, which is really great news, uh, and uh, some more money to the state treasury as well. So uh, that's a huge, huge hurdle, and anybody that's played this game before will know that uh, once you get through the Second Punic War, it's, uh, it's, it's downhill from there. Uh, now, one thing we didn't actually mention, and this was sort of subtle that it came out, was that the first time um, that we see a, another era card come into play, it, it dr- changes the era that we're in. So white card, white bordered cards means the early Republic. Uh, but uh, what we saw there from the Corona faction and under Tiberius Cornelius is he, uh, when he's at his turn to play cards, he drew out the statesman Marcus uh, Fulvius uh, Flaccus, um, and played that on his respective family card, which is uh, perfectly valid. But it was a grey-bordered card. And uh, the fact that that's been played now means we are in the Middle Republic. Um, so we'll still see some white cards drawn because they are shuffled. They're intermingled. There's about a 12-card separation of mixed cards between each era. Uh, but the, the, regardless, of now that we've seen the first uh, different coloured um faction or rather you know card played from the deck we're now in the middle republic so that'll change some things uh in the game some of the mechanics most notably will be the events table uh we now will draw events from the middle column uh, which changes uh changes things there uh, and amongst some other minor rules but we'll start to see some different cards come out now as we advance into the middle republic so that's really good um really exciting changing things up a little bit so I'll be uh, I'm, I'm excited to see some law cards I really like the game when law cards start to come out and start to be considered by the Senate uh, going forwards which is which is good the other thing I wanted to I guess bring up is the rather unfortunate aging sequence there for Marcus Decimus that was uh, an absolute uh, squanch there um, it looked good initially you draw draw none or something and then a draw two come out so I guess we we're obliged to draw two out there as a part of the aging process and not only did he have an elder senator die, then another senator also aged uh, who's out in the province at the moment. So, um, yeah, not desirable for him, but nonetheless, uh, it is the way at nature goes. Um, but I'm sure he will uh, recover in time. Uh, well, outside of that, uh, that concludes it from there. We're, we're very interested to see what occurs now in the forum phase of turn six when we come back next week. And uh, let's see how many wars get drawn Uh, if any interesting events happen uh, for our faction of senators. Well, that concludes session six tonight. I am Dickens Aurelius. Thank you very much for joining us here on the Roman Twitch channel brought to you by Nova Roma. If you're interested in checking out what we do in Nova Roma, go to NovaRoma.org or you can look us up on multiple social media, um, you know, particularly Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Instagram, you know, we're, we're on all sorts of social media there. Uh, And we'd love to have you participate in all of our Roman conversations. Don't forget to join our Discord as well. Uh, We've got our own uh, forum, Domitium Discord server, that you can uh, freely join in discussions as well, whether you are a citizen or member of Nova Roma or not. Uh, Outside of that, uh, I've had a blast again this evening. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, And until next time, uh, well, goodbye for now. (laughs) 